So hi guys, welcome back. Today this is going to be um, addressable system test 2 or Polo XP95 uh, test 2. You can see there's been a number of devices added and yeah, you can see the faults have been cleared because I've just borrowed the batteries of the CTEC system just so we don't have any faults um, in the video. So I'll show you what's happened with the panel because a number of good things have happened and some devices have been added as well. So uh, first off, um, some of you may already know this, but I've got loop 2 working so yeah there's only one device on the loop on loop 2 and there's like 17 on the other loop so if we just go access level 2 and if we go here we go to view devices by loop you can see now it says loop 2 shows and you may notice how I went to access level 2 I've just got this um, temporary switch here I'm gonna move this switch from here to here and it's probably gonna be a key one as well so yeah so it's just much easier and quicker so yeah you can see i've just wired that into the terminals so yeah, just down there and these batteries are undersized so yeah excuse that but yeah um let's get started um with the test shall we so we're going to put the panel into access and um yeah so um also we're going to be testing the heat detector and the intelligent call point and also we've got the xp95 uh open area sounder beacon this is the sonos one let's get started so the first part of the test will have all the sounders enabled but then we'll disable all the base sounders and just have the open area going so i think the call point we should press is the intelligence call point so yeah you can see it's polling and it's on call protocol slash discovery mode so yeah let's give it a press And you can see it um, sort of struggling to tone hold a bit. I don't know why it does XP95 open area sounders or Sonos ones do that. Um, but yeah, it does do that, which is quite odd. And you can see we've got audio audible silence on the loop powered beacons, as you can tell. So yeah, you can sort of see they're not synced up perfectly because the panel can't sync too well, um, which is a bit annoying, but yeah just reset that and we're going to re-alarm with that call point Let, let's go with that call point or the series 90 actually let's go with let's go with this one here so uh, i won't be testing this call point because i've tested it quite a lot in the other videos in the addressable videos so yeah and let's just stick the test key up in this one so yeah Uh, yeah, I forgot to um, name this one because I had to re to learn the panel. All right, so let's reset the panel and we're going to disable the bass sounders. So, yeah. All right, let's... Um, so, it's not that hard. We should go to disablement, go to disable addresses, disable address one. And we'll go all the way to address three, disable that, and address two, which is a sound beacon base. All right, so now we've got three disablements, as you can tell. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to also test one of the opticals as well. I'm going to test probably the opticals on the top because last video I tested them down there. Oh yeah, I've moved the heat detector here as well. So I'm going to be testing that in this video. So yeah. All right, so we're going to test this optical um, just by the uh, Sonos here. So yeah. Just watch that blink away as always. You see it pulse a bit. There's the Optical that's triggered. I'm going to trigger this heat now, and um, we'll probably test another optical as well, maybe 
Dress 7, which is this one there. So, yeah. And, yeah. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-enable the sounders. Actually, I'm going to reset. And then, oh dear, it's re-triggered because it's not quite clear. Right, okay. Um, you can see the detector chamber hasn't quite cleared yet. So I'm going to take off this head and just leave that down there. Um, it's all right. Um, I'm going to put that back on and wait for it to reinitiate on the loop. So yeah, you can see it's a discovery one, as you can tell. So let's reset. And there's a fault. That's why it's beeping continuously. Right, so let's just re-enable that. So you can just go to view and restore. Just re-enable with them. Let's put this back on. Right, that should be enough. You can see it pulls quite fast when you put Discovery back on its base. And yeah, now it's initialising the device. As you can tell. Oh geez, I'll cut the video until this is... Okay, so now that the device is initiated, um, I'm going to test this heat detector. So I've got a hairdryer set up, so yeah. Right, let's test it then. So it's just gone into pre-alarm. So I'm going to give that a bit more. It's triggered as you can tell. There we have it. So I'm gonna leave that in alarm, in alarm so the heat detector can cool down. And yeah, so we're gonna test this optical now. Just the op other optical. So yeah, uh, actually let's, yeah, let's test this one because I've not tested it in a video. Let's give it a bit of smoke saber. Um, yeah. I don't know why I put this one sideways. I I should have um, put all the LEDs horizontal, I've changed some of them, like the beacon base, the sounder base. Syncing isn't perfect. I'm going to risk resetting it and we're going to do alert on the sounders as well. I forgot to do alert on the start of the test, but I've programmed the function button to do alert. So we're going to reset that. Oh, the optical has gone into pre-alarm. Right, we'll just reset that. Right, okay, I think it's all good. Right. Um... Let's just see the pre um what analog values they are. Just do address seven. It's twenty-seven, that's alright. And address twelve. It's twenty-six, that should be fine. Right, okay, so we're gonna do alert on the sounders just to signify the test is over. see a bit of the integrated bass sound as a bit of a delay um but yeah let's just reset it right let's just turn off access controls and yeah that will conclude this test i hope you enjoyed uh this test and with the new devices and the loop the second loop being added so yeah 
Uh, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel as that would be helpful. And as always, thank you for watching. Goodbye. Remember.